Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this channel is by the farm but today I'm at the RHS Malvern Spring Show. And I'm standing by uh, the most incredible display of lilies. Uh, this is from Hearts Nursery. Um, they are just beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to treat myself today um, to a couple more lily bulbs. Now I put in some mixed lily bulbs into, uh, into the long border not very long ago. Uh, but I really fancy a few of these very, very deep coloured ones in the centre here. And then we'll have a bit more of a look round. So I'm here uh, with Lucy Ponsford who has designed this garden called Grace and Dignity and it's absolutely gorgeous. So uh, you will see as we're chatting I've taken lots of close-ups of some of the details but there's a story behind this isn't there? Yeah there is. Um, I, mean, I design for um, a lot of clients around Buckinghamshire, Northamptonshire and Oxfordshire and a lot of them are single ladies on their own. And the stories are amazing and also their love of gardens is amazing and I wanted to pay tribute to one of some great clients but also um, to the fact that you know in old age and as women we can be very much overlooked. Um, I'm supporting Women's Aid with this garden as well so we're actually raising money for Women's Aid with a t-shirt campaign. I will put details um, at a later moment I will make sure we've got all the details of, uh, of those t-shirts and we'll work on a campaign together I think. Yeah that would be um, fantastic. And for anybody watching who isn't aware uh, what Women's Aid is, it is a support network for victims um, of domestic violence or people who have been through uh, some sort of uh, violent relationship uh, and just need some, some support and help to get through their stuff. Absolutely and I mean the, the idea is to, to take it away from anything too personal is that Mrs Grace, she was a lady who I knew in my childhood, um, she had been through domestic abuse, um, her husband I think had got mustard gas in the, in the Second World War, that's not yeah. always an um, not always everyone's excuse but in this instance it was and, and he was pretty violent and she had lots of children and she had to care and support and the, the notion is that actually you know if overcoming all these obstacles makes you a better uh, more um, uh, deep uh, d uh, defined person this garden gives definition to those feelings I suppose so there is a wall that's created out of irregular stone. Each stone is like um, uh, an obstacle that you're given in life that you have to place into the wall and, and hopefully you create something beautiful from all those experiences. 
um, the rills that feed the so fed by an irrigation and water irrigation system feed the lower border the bold and beautiful border um, and those are carved out with slate and they've been hand placed as a sort of purgatory rather than therapy kind of experience but mm -hmm. they create something beautiful like wrinkles or a pattern of old age that we should all be proud to have and 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 yes um, yeah, our grey hairs uh, and, and everything else that comes with experience is, is, is what this garden's about. So, but in a beautiful space, and hopefully there's a notion too that, you know, we're all relatively insignificant. We've got a single oak in the centre. It's a little sapling. And the path that runs around the outside has cobbles as if da uh, dappled light has fallen through that final tree's canopy. So the garden would eventually be consumed um, by that oak sapling. Um, and we're all dispensable at the end of the day. So, a cyclical garden. It's beautiful. Thank oh, you thank so you. much <laughs> for spending favorite. a bit of time. Um, so, uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more time uh, looking at the garden um, and then just be very, very envious. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank nice you. to speak to you. I've had a really fabulous day here uh, at the RHS Malvern show. Uh, you can see the hills in the background. Uh, but I'm heading home now and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again next time.